widespread criticism and backlash. The show drew parallels to a community still grieving the loss of two police officers. I spoke with community members and leaders on the performance. People say Friday night football at Brookhaven High School took a turn for the worse after a halftime performance by the Forest Hill High School band left them speechless. I was sad because of what happened last weekend and it felt like they were making fun of it. After the performance, a picture surfaced on social media showing band members pointing fake guns at pretend officers. People in this area say it was in bad taste, especially after last week's shooting. It, it just doesn't matter in this day and age. It's just totally bad taste. Our, our people are, are hurting right now and and to bring that to us uh, on the a couple of days after we're burying two officers was just inappropriate. Congresswoman Curry wasn't the only state leader to speak out about the performance. The governor took to Twitter. He tweeted, this is unacceptable in a civilized society. Someone should be held accountable. Jackson Public Schools, which oversees Forest Hill High School, released a statement saying students were acting out a scene in the movie John Q. They went on to say, JPS has a great deal of respect and appreciation for our law enforcement partners. The band's performance does not depict the values and people in our community and was incredibly insensitive to the students, families, law enforcement officials, and the entire Brookhaven community. Jackson Mayor Shokwe Lamumba also issued a statement mentioning there is an active investigation into the performance. It reads in part, it is the responsibility of adults to offer guidance to youth. Our students should have been instructed that this was neither the time or place for that performance. In Brookhaven, Linnea Lewis, WJTV 12. Brookhaven Schools released a statement on the shooting. It said, we appreciate the JPS superintendent, Dr. Eric Green, and the administration band director and coaches at Forest Hill High School for reaching out to us today to offer apologies for the halftime show Friday night. The state safety commissioner also released a statement. It says mimicking acts of violence against law enforcement or members of the public should never be condoned at a high school football game or any function whatsoever. The Mississippi Department of Education released a statement on the show. They said the MDE has received numerous complaints about the band performance by Forest Hill High School. We are closely monitoring the situation. The content of this band performance is not indicative of the high caliber of high school band performances that occur across the state, nor was it reflective of the high quality of student guidance by our educators. And Jackson Councilman Aaron Banks released a statement on the performance, he said, as a councilman and graduate of Forest Hill High School, I deeply regret the performance of the Forest High Hill High School band this past Friday. It is very distasteful for us as a community of educators and leaders to not be aware nor sensitive to the current negative portrayal and display of disrespect towards our law enforcement community. Here at WJTV, we are continuing to cover this story and controversy. We'll be keeping you updated as more information comes available.